As a kid, it baffled me how God could know so much. Not only past and present, but the future as well. Sunday evenings, my dad read to us from his Bible. The stories were beautiful, austere, terrifying. And one loomed over all others, the story of Abraham. God sends a man to, to slaughter his own son, only to stop him perilously close to the act, to reveal it's all been a ruse. Dee Dee, it's me. To me, that story was and always will be not Abraham's story, but Isaac's. This boy must grow was the image of his own father poised above him. Without it ever explained why he's the victim. You gonna be all right in there? I always knew I would devote my life to clarity. I would save the world's uncomprehending victims. What I never knew is that when dealing with matters of life and death, as policemen inevitably do, there's no way around the question of God. In fact, there are moments when there's nothing else can be thought of to say but why. And like Isaac found, there's only silence in response. Lonely, indeterminate silence. Hey, you all right? Hey, stop walking. I said stop. We called an ambulance, be out here real quick. Is that your blood on you? Damn it, answer me. Hey, I need to see your hands in the air slowly. Do it now. There's two of us back here. Wait, let me know there's two of us. Hello. Okay, you heard that. Well, let's bring up your hands. He's on up around him. All right, kid, my partner's coming around to get a better look at you. Tommy? Les, it's Tommy Spencer. Is it his blood? Well, you better hope not. Okay, Tommy. Just need you to please turn around for me, okay, Tommy? We ain't gonna hurt you, just please turn around. Tommy. Uh, just hold still. Okay, Tommy, we're gonna figure all this out. Okay, just, uh, just hold still. Seen a lot of trouble at my door.
This story has many beginnings. We go back six months okay. to the front end of spring. Here you go. I think there's going to be two of us. I'll fetch another menu. Nothing doing at the Reds? I'm off this morning. I sure like your ribbon. Oh, it's yellow. I can see that. No, like in the song, a tie a yellow ribbon. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's Tony Orlando and Dawn. It was my favorite growing up. You don't mean it. My man got out from McAllister yesterday. He's meeting me here. Well, why didn't you go down there and see him right when he was released? He thought it'd be better this way. I waited up here. All by yourself while he travels half the state? Yes. Bless your heart. Does this man love you? I don't know. <laughs> you mean you don't know? I think it's him. You think? We never met before. Or should I point you out? He knows I'm wearing this ribbon. I'll just scoot out of your way. Okay, Billy, we'll see. You, Ainsley? Yes. When's you gonna look up at me? No, do. I can't do this. What? Hey. Hey. Now, how am I going to feel you run off on me so quick? I need you to give this a chance. You leave now, it'll be the end of me. Now, come on back inside, please. I'm begging you. All right. Mind every day for six months for you to scare me so quick. No, I won't leave. I ain't gonna let you. <laughs> Don't. All right then. This menu for me? Yes. <laughs> I can't get used to all this. It's the weirdest thing about being out. Choices. You know, we got choices in life. I think one of the things prison's about is it's taking choices away from folks that ain't capable of making the right ones. I ain't looked at it that way. I reckon you ain't had to. <sighs> so this here's Kingfisher. Mm -hmm. It's just like you said, quiet and friendly. Lots of oil pumps. Lots of oil pumps. <laughs> Different than McAllister? There's no oil pumps in McAllister. I still wish I could have seen it. No, you don't. It's where you lived. All them letters come from there. Them letters come from me. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I do. You know, me and her had talk before you come in here. Is that right? You make sure and treat this and right. OK. <laughs> she deserves it waiting on you like she did. I can pick him, and she's a keeper, an angel from heaven. The Lord doesn't send her down here to watch over you. I need that. <laughs> I don't know. That boy in our line? Doesn't there a party you ain't got to tell me? Y'all are early. Ain't seen Sam, maybe. You ain't been in yet. You two sit on down. Hi, Angelie. Hi. I'll be with you in a minute. Well, All right, now, do you two want to order anything? Uh, give me the cattleman's breakfast here. Mm -hmm. How do you like your eggs? <laughs> Scrambled, I guess. And for you? I, I can't eat. You gotta eat something. I'm too frazzled. Well, come on now. How do you like your eggs? Kind of fried. So two eggs. Fried it is. Sunny side up. Hey, just the way my boy likes them. But don't get me started talking about him. <laughs> no 
Oh goodness. I I'll be back with your food. She's lonely. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, I gotta be at work in 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry I couldn't get off. Lee, my manager's real strict. That's all right. It's just, I've been waiting a long time for this. Me too. <laughs> But I gotta meet my parole officer this afternoon anyway. You do? I do. <laughs> but I'll meet you when you get off. I want you to take me somewhere tonight. All right. I don't care. Just someplace special. Special to you. All right. We're together now. Yes. Thank God. You found religion, too. Yes, sir. Well, that's neither one way or the other with me, religion. If Christ died for my sins, I sure as hell ain't seen any of the benefits. But you get satisfaction praying, so be it. Yes, sir. So why Kingfisher? There's a girl up here. You knew her before you went in? I met through a magazine. You see her yet? Oh, this morning. Well, sort of a blind date. <laughs> I guess. My wife and I met on a blind date. You know, getting involved real quick after doing time can be a very serious thing. I know. Particularly with your kind of background. I know that. What's your name? Ainsley. Ainsley, Ainsley. Ainsley Dupree. <laughs> Works over at the Reds. That's right. The hell, I used to work with her daddy. Really? Yeah, he was foreman at the pipe yard during the boom. Told you how he died? No, actually. When the yard closed down, he'd become a tool pusher. He got caught in a rig fire. Janice, we need more of these. In a minute. Burned alive, along with three other guys. She ain't said a thing about it. He was a son of a bitch to work for. Hard as nails. Real religious, too, it might interest you. See, that was the joke. He talked about hell so much, he went that way. You know, fire? I get it. She seemed all right, though. Homespun, reliable. They make a good burger over there. So, now, uh, how's the job situation? Yeah, yeah, I just come in town today. Yeah, any special skills? Man? I like cars enough, a lot. There's eight of us. Six kids? You betcha. What's that like? I oh, wish I had two more. What's it like for your wife? Well, she's always kept her maternity clothes. <laughs> I bet. She's got another one in the cooker. Really? You betcha. <laughs> now, What's all this going to run me? Twenty-one eighty-three. Hon, do you have another ten? Hang on. Yes, it's in my purse. Can we live with her? As long as she'll have me. She agreed to that? She agreed to let me stay there. Meaning? Meaning she agreed to let me stay there. This is the address you wrote down here? Yes, sir. Okay, Jack. We're going to put you in our electronic monitoring program. <clears throat> You'll be wearing this device around your ankle at all times. Now, whenever you progress beyond 100 feet of the home, we get a signal here at the station alerting us that you've crossed the boundaries of your parole. I didn't know I was going to have to do no monitoring program. You got four years took off your sentence. Yeah. Consider yourself lucky. I consider myself blessed. Call it what you will. This is not to confine you. This is just to monitor you. Well, it's, I mean, Ainsley was going to go out tonight. We don't get to her house till the morning. We'll need to get this on your ankle right away, though. We'll know where you are tonight at all times. 
Matter of fact, we'll always know where you are. Well, I need to know where a church is in town. All right, well, it should be easy enough. You can pick and choose, unless you're a Mormon or a Jew. Hello? kid all year. I'm even taking lunch at home on certain times of the month. Very frustrating. Takes all the romance out of it. Here's a card with all my basic information on it. I'll walk out with you, get you set up, get this put on your ankle so I can get home. As duty calls. <laughs> well, it ain't weird or something? Weird? Well, him being in prison. He ain't in prison. So he was in prison. Well, I don't know, Janice. It ain't words yet. Well, what'd you two talk about? We went together an hour before I had to come here. We got plenty of time. Be patient. He's lucky to have you. You look like you'll give yourself all up at once. I do not. Ainsley, yes, you do. Well, I guess you'd know. Uh huh. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I want to know what that means. Sorry, don't mean nothing. Well, you can have whatever opinion you want. All I'm saying is, please here. It ain't no, it ain't no hurry. I'm happy for you. You hear me? And maybe I'm a little jealous. Get your ass off the counter. What you girls talking about? Nothing. Bullshit. Nothing, Lee. And get back to work, why don't you? I ain't gonna be in in the morning. What do you mean? I mean, I got some business to take care of. What kind of business? What kind of business is my business? Ow! It's my business if ain't nobody here. I'll open, Lee. Spencer. Is he all right? Is he ever? Nobody know what to do. Tommy. Tommy. He ain't spoke since we found him. Ain't even a scratch on him. Not a one. His blood being checked. It's at the hospital. It's human. They don't know the type yet. We cleaned him up pretty good, short of a shower. Go give him a call. Hurry up. Who? The hospital. See what else they got to say. Call Dorothy. No, I'll do that. Go on, Kip. Both of you and Tom, you recognize me? How's your aunt? She doing all right? Tom? Can you talk with me? Tom? You got this whole building in a stir, you know that? Tom, do you understand me? 
Do you hear me? Just nod your head if you hear me. Just nod, nod your head. Tom, do you hear me? Good. That's all you gotta do. Now, whatever you've seen tonight, wherever you've been, it's over. But we can't figure out where all this blood come from, and if the person is still alive, maybe we can help him. Tom, you understand? Who was you with tonight? Where were you? Can you take us there? Tom. Can you take us to where you were? You can take us there. Les. Okay, you and Bobby got the left shore. Get it, Bobby. Stay on the radio. Stay on the radio. He didn't want to call the state. Nope. I'm sick of feeling sorry for this kid. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, why ain't we calling the state? The kid's half crazy. Sam's got his reasons. Yeah, what are they? Glenn, what do you want from me? There. Tom. Tom. God damn it. Somebody help me. Tom, it's all right now. Let Easy, it go, Tom. Tom. Let it go, Tom. Easy, Tom. <laughs> Doctor, meet us at the station. What is it? God damn it! Can't you do a single thing I ask without pestering me with questions? All right, this is it. You boys, mark off this whole area. Down here in the water. What is it? What do you got? Yeah. <gasps> Over here. You know, you don't marry me after spending all my time in the house? No, Jack. And look out there, ain't this beautiful? Yes. Well, thank you, Easley. Let's get out. a lot of time as a child on this lake. You know what else? What? My mama swears I was conceived out here. What? Her and my daddy used to come up here all weekends. One time in their senior year, it happened. You mean? They got married to have me proper. But I think that's where birth happens, not in some hospital. Yeah. I was born right here. My parole officer told me how your daddy died. He did? Why you never mentioned it? Me and my daddy never got along too good. I met the preacher today. The preacher? A preacher. Yeah, he seemed real eager to help me out. Good. You don't go to church. You never wrote about it in your letters. No. What else did your parole officer say? He says it ain't gonna be easy to find finding work. He says lots of folks is moving away. But I'll find something. I promise, Ainsley. Jack, I know you will. Jack. 
ya. Will you tell me why he was in prison? We've been over that, Ainsley. But that was the letters. You afraid I won't love you? As far as you and me concerned, I ain't never been to prison. If you hadn't been to prison, we'd have never met. <laughs> I reckon not. So? Can I kiss you now? Yes. Here I come. How was that? It was tender. I ain't done that in a long time. You wanna do it again? I do. What's your favorite part of me? No. Tell me, and I'll tell you. Your chest. <laughs> your most beautiful part, your eyes. My parole officer said so. He seen you over at the Reds. What? There's something I ain't told you in the letters. What? One of them's glass. One of your eyes? Mm -hmm. Which? This one. Why? It got cut out when I was 12. Me and one of my friends was playing with an electric knife. Don't look glass at all. <laughs> I ain't supposed to. For near two years, I wore a patch, because my daddy said if God wanted an eye in there, he wouldn't let the real one get cut out. You wore a patch and didn't have nothing in there? What changed his mind? When he died. My mama said, I'm tired of looking at you like that. So she carried me down to Oklahoma City and got me one of these. It's the only time I've ever been there. I'm going to take care of you. No. Angela? Yes. Will you marry me? Oh, my God. I know it's quick. You don't got to answer now. No, Jack, I will. I will marry you. I want us to have children, Angela. A family. Yes. So I owe the Lord for setting me free. Oh, I owe him. It's the most important thing, children. Yes. Children. Y'all give us some room now, everybody out but less. I'll get the tape on. Oh, that ain't necessary. But we get a notebook. Scared enough already without his every move being sucked up by a video camera. Uh, hey, kiddo. Doctor says you're gonna be all right. You're safe here, you know that. Tom, you know you're safe? Now, Tom, I gotta ask you something. 
You just nod yes or no, but I gotta ask you. Did you do that to this person? All right, all right, I know you didn't. Did you see it happen? Did you know? Huh? All right, all right. So, the first time you met was tonight. Now, what about the person who done it? Did you know him? Was it a man? And you didn't know him. Had you ever seen him before? Did. All right, all right. That's all right, Tom. It's all right, Tom. That's fine for now. That's just fine. Get the mug books and uh, someone get his hand on the phone. Uh, we're just going to bring some books in here, and then this will all be over. You've done good. We're going to figure all this out. You've done good. Here it is. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. I got a microwave and uh, four burners, plus this toaster oven. And, uh, down here's the real oven. <laughs> Up here's all the dishes. Yeah. You keep a clean house. And, uh, do here's the bedroom. Well, no, uh, tonight I might ought to stay on the sofa. Tack. Ainsley, keep away. Ainsley. Ainsley. All right, now. No, 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 that's it. No more. Mm. Oh. <coughs> you sure is aggressive for somebody you made love That's everybody. why I'm aggressive. <laughs> Listen, I've been locked up for three years. I feel that way, too. But what happens between a man and woman is sacred. Can't be took lightly. All right. Got to do everything proper. Everything. Where are you going? Out and around. Where out and around? I don't know. Taking Jimmy's car? Yeah. When did he say him and his daddy coming home? He didn't say. Tom, where do you go when you go off driving? You're 14 years old. Will you answer me, please? You think it makes me happy around here having another kid to take care of? I um, don't what do you want me to do? Talk with me sometimes. I got no one to talk with. My sister's gone. I don't never see my husband. Stay home tonight. Chips is on the cable and Night Rider. You like in cars so much. <laughs> I'd rather go out. I'll go with you. No. Then you're grounded. How's that? I'll microwave with some popcorn and well, look at the cable. I'm leaving now. Tom, I said we're spending the evening together and I meant it. Boy, mind me. I mean it. I said, mind me. Come back to this house right now or don't come back at all. Come back in right now or don't come back at all, Tom. Tom! Answer the phone, Will. Hello? Oh, Will. Sorry about the hour. It's all right. Uh, how is it with the wife? Oh, same. Well, you all sorted out. 
Listen, uh, you mind coming down to the station? What's up? Well, it's a little complicated. We got a body, Will. And, uh, looks like Claire Spencer's boy got wrapped up in it somehow. Will? I'll be right there. Ben, I was worried crazy. I got a job. <laughs> <laughs> they let me look for... Yo. Yeah, home for the night. All righty, bye-bye. Where? At the DX station. <laughs> <laughs> we both work on the highway now. Doing what? Oh, mechanic. I worked all day. I changed the transmission, we built two alternators. One of them was a Honda. That's great, Jack. Are you all right? Hmm? Reds is closing down. What? Reds don't close down. They do if nobody's buying burgers. It may take a while, but I'll find something else. Me and Janice gonna start looking this weekend. What? Why? Yeah, you know, I just said I got a job. We'll be fine. No, Jack, I started my period today. Well, you don't gotta say it outright like that. I'm sorry, it's a natural thing. I told the preacher to bring your church on Sunday. Why you told him that? Well, I keep asking about you. I ain't been since I was 14. Ainsley, I want a Christian home. Can be just as Christian as you like. I just don't want to go to church. Ainsley, things is going so good, me getting this job and everything. Going to church is the only time I can leave here except for work now. I want you with me. All right. Is it? Yes. I love you. Hey, Tommy. New shoes? Your cousin? Yeah. Listen to me. Who else, right? He out in the car? Oh, y'all alone? Yep. Hey, how's your aunt? Fine. She's worried about you. She said you ain't me coming to church lately. No. You come to our church. I'd bring you. No. I don't think so. Lord, help us. Is this going to be all for you? Yeah. You want some beef jerky? How about a couple jaw records? Let me show you this. What do you think? Well, no, nothing else for you then? No. Slush puppy? Cooley? No. Slim Jim? You okay? I'm who's that lady? Is she going to church with you? Sunday be the third week. So married life's all right. Couldn't be better. We 
wish I could say the same. I'm sorry. It's strange times in these parts. They say ain't been this kind of migration out since the Dust Bowl. Yeah, most everyone we service at the station's passing through. Don't live here. Sometimes I think the reason she wanted kids so bad is to have something to do with her time, you know? That's mighty tragic. Not that I don't want a child, hell. I'd love a son. You and Ainsley want a family? Ain't nothing more important to me. All right, I reckon that's right. I just... You're a lucky man to have a second chance. I know that. I think me and her are going to get a separation over this. That's awful. You ain't kidding. That's all we talk about anymore. I'm tired of taking the blame. I'm sick of playing defense, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's... I want to hear this. this is not... Oh, say, I may be doing that spot check on you here in the next couple of weeks. You keep saying that. Well, it'll happen. I'm hoping to get your wife to bro me up a burger over them closing down Reds. Okay. You believe that? Even Reds went and turned his back on us. Oh. What I think make love is? What? It's prayer. You make love proper. Prayer floats up away from it. There's no prayer more beautiful to God than what we just done. Believe that? I believe I've never been happier than right now. I get restless around the house without work. I miss you. But you come home and hold me. We make love. Cradle me like you do. I feel like there's nothing left in this world I could possibly want other than to feel your touch. But Jack, can I tell you something? Yes. I don't think I believe in God. That's all right. It is? Mm -hmm. Just ain't found him yet. He's in your life. Just can't see him. Don't nobody see God. But we see what he do. That's what faith is. How do I get faith? Gotta let go. But Ainsley, you got goodness in me. And whether you believe in him or not, you're as close to God as near anyone I've met. I love you. I mean that. For an angel like you, he's there. I hope so. Make love with me again, Ainsley. All the blood's off him. Uh -huh. But he still ain't spoke a word. He's locked himself in his room. Well, when do you have to go to work? Got the day off. My husband called a while ago. Him and Jimmy's gonna be at the yard all day. You reckon if this child had a man figure around for one day of his life, he'd be so odd and in trouble with the law all the time? He ain't in trouble with the law. You know how many times he's been picked up on the highway by y'all for driving that car under age? And then patrolman let it go out of pity for him. You'd think a car would be the last thing he'd want to get in. I mean, can you explain that one? A car? I'd like to send one of my men around for a photograph of him. What kind of photograph? We ain't took none recently. Oh, I got some his mama had. Well, that'd be fine. As recent as possible, though. Uh, somebody be right over. Okay. Bye. Oh, you never 
seen her. No. Name's Ainsley. Towards the Reds. She's married to an ex-con up from McAllister. He wears a beeper in his leg, so the police always know where he's at. I used to always see her in here. I ain't seen her lately. What's she doing? What's it look like she's doing? Set. Oklahoma City bus dropped her off about an hour ago. Stop staring. She'll call you over. So? Ain't I just told you her husband's an ex-con? You look so sad. I'm telling you, stay away. She's a talker. Why do you keep looking at me? Too late. I don't know. Over here. Don't be afraid. Hey, this kid ain't looking for no trouble. Come on. A closed circuit TV signal that takes what happens here in Denver and sends it all the way back to a courtroom in Oklahoma City appears to be on the way to reality. Couple the obstacles that will hey. come include figuring out technically how to make the closed circuit signal secure and figuring out the yeah. crew in Oklahoma City will get to see it. Argy says he's been seeing you over at the total on his lunch hour. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see you sit and talk to folks. Lonely, Jack. I got nothing to do all day. So you hang out of the total? Been going there since I was old enough to drive. What do you say to folks? Is there a problem? No, no problem. Just, what do you say to folks? Ask them where they're going or something. I don't know. Just small talk. I miss people. Any news? Jack, you ask me every day. I want to know, don't I? Christ, we've only been married five months. Don't say that word like that. What word? You know what word. Christ? Yes. Prayers and thoughts going to what can make us happy. We'll have a family. That's all I want. I want what's best for us. You know that. Yes. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to leave this house unless I know where you're going and why. What? I mean, I want you here. I am here. I want you here. I don't want to be wondering where you are. Jack. Ainsley, no. I want a proper home. A home God want to give a family to. I'll leave here whenever I like. You sure won't. What you gonna do to me, I do leave. I bolt these doors. I mean it. I could do that. You think you get lonely now, you see what that's like. Jack. No, that's it. Discussion's over. I'm Ainsley. Tom. I could use some company for a while. 
Tell me no harm. I think I might have left my husband tonight. Del said um, that you've been under Oklahoma City. Yeah. Second time in my life. How long was you and your husband married for? About six months. Where are you going? Just out and around. Just out and around? Driving. I want to go up to the lake. You by yourself? Yeah. I don't know. Is it too safe up there nights? Will you come with me? To the lake? Yeah. yeah. Take me then. Take me up there. It's where I was born. You ain't gonna get to see the Pope. If you see that Pope, you're gonna have to stand out there with a hundred thousand other folks. See that Pope. Well, about a month old Bill is back in that shop, and old Mr. Father says you didn't take that stupid bill. Well, Bill said I did take that stupid bill. He said he said he was a good ally. They didn't lose my suitcase there right on time. Some flight attendants were so nice to me. We landed in Rome. And oh, God. Ainsley. This is what we've been waiting on. I don't know we've been waiting, Jack. Jack, I met your parole officer. What? He come by last Tuesday while you was at work. Yeah? And I never let on about this. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But he told me things. Uh, this is, uh, what the state calls a spot check. The, the state feels Jack is real rehabilitated to rehabilitate. Uh, but they always say a spouse should know. Uh, so you probably know this, but uh, Jack used to live up outside uh, Tulsa in Turley. Yes. Yeah. And uh, five years ago, he was oh, he's a very different man. Uh, as a matter of fact, his turnaround has been remarkable. What did he do? Well, I don't know what you know. I don't know much. Right. Well, he, um, he was just a regular shithead. That, excuse me. Uh, who was going nowhere fast. What did he do? You mean you really never... Uh, you mean specifically. <laughs> well, I guess. He nearly beat a woman to death. Gally was living with at the time. Mm -hmm. And, uh... What? She was carrying their child at the time. Hmm. And what happened to... Well, the gal made it. Yeah. yeah. God. Jack. Ain't see, I, I ain't like that no more. Jack. 
Jack, I told you that first night we met that what you done got you in prison didn't make no difference to me. That officer could have told me anything, and I'd still love you. But that ain't the point. I got nothing left to give a child. Let me speak. I sat here all day. You won't even let me leave my own home no more. I can't even believe I'm pregnant. I feel so empty in here. Keep away. I gotta make it right, Jack. I wanna make it right. And we ain't right. You say you won't hear this. I won't hear this. Well, then, Jack, that don't make no difference. What are you saying? Janice told me. Don't you think for a second? It ain't up to you. I kill it ain't. Keep away from me. Gonna touch you? I wouldn't do that, not you. Honey, you're everything to me. Look at me. You're everything. You just gotta let me know you hear me. I hear you, Jack. Just tell me we're gonna do this, all right? Jack. Say it, Ainsley. Say we're gonna do it. Keep away. Say it. <sighs> Come on, say what we're gonna do. Say the words. Go do it. Do what? Say it. Say it. Standard procedure. A wife should know. I want another parole officer. You want to stay in this county, there's nobody else to meet with. You're stuck with me. Hey, since you're here, I got some good news for you. You're going to be took off monitoring. You nearly ruined my marriage. Well, take it up with a marriage counselor. <laughs> Christ, ain't you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Good. Come on in. I'd rather not, thanks. Fine. Hello? Hey. You know, I got some good news, too. Janice? I'm gonna be a daddy. Is that right? Yes, it is. Well, really, that's, uh, yeah. So how's Ainsley? She's great. So she's never been happier. That's wonderful. <laughs> you don't seem sincerely excited for me. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, you just... You just don't seem truly happy for me. Fuck you, Jack. I didn't say nothing. Just said I was going to be daddy's all. You know, I think you could put your own problems aside and be happy for me. I think you better leave now. Why? Hey, you get the fuck out of this building right now if you know what's good for you. I'll slap you back on monitoring for five fucking years, my friend. I'm leaving.
Jack, I'm Sheriff Rogers. This is video cam. It's standard procedure. I understand you waive counsel. I don't need counsel. I understood you're right. You waive counsel for this interview? Yes. Good. I'd like to call my wife. Officer Sprague tells me you're a religious man. Yes, I am. You want to talk with me about that? Are you a religious man? You ain't talking about me. You believe in God? All right, yes, I do. You ain't got the slightest idea. I can hear it in your voice. How should my voice sound? I want to call my wife. How should my voice sound? Simple. Clear. But to answer the question is almost strange. Is that how you believe? You could never understand how I believe. Why? You ain't been as far gone as I have. Well, how do you know? By looking at you. Okay, you fucker. I heard enough of this shit. Well, oh, God damn it, I have. He says another word, I'll strangle him myself. Will, this state gave you everything. This state gave you your life back. You can't give me my life. Get him out of here. Let's get him out of here. You're a fry, you prick. Will, I'm going to see you fry if it's the last thing that I do. Fear none of those things. Or thou shalt I'm going to be there. Will, take your goddamn hands off me. Don't touch it. I'm going to be there in the front fucking row when you go. And you're going to hell. You're going straight to fucking hell. Give the hell crown of life. Revelation. You've read the Bible. That's more than most Christians. He's right. This goes to trial, we'll win. You'll get the chair. I want that. I want your life to end. I used to think a man's life was God's domain. But you've changed that. Now, You remember this child? His picture out of a mug book. Looks at your picture and starts to tremble. Trembles at the sight of your photograph. Tom? His name is Tom Spencer. Child, will you let me in? And he's 14 years old. <laughs> Look, you're gonna have to say something. I won't tolerate this no more. That sheriff keeps calling asking how you are. Tom? He said someone else for a picture of you. Fancy that, Tom. Tom! I'm all right. Well, okay then. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to the kitchen now. About a year and a half ago, his mother finished cooking dinner for him just after the evening news. Dee Dee, I gotta go out. And she went to the phone, called her sister. Lady Tom. works at the diner here in town. And she said, take care of my boy. It's your... And she walked out of her house, stepped to the garage, closed all the doors, started her car. Took 48 minutes. Boy was a wall away. When he turned off the TV, heard the car. Well, back it up, back it up. Go, go, go. Wish I could describe to you. The confusion and terror. Take it easy now. I saw in his eyes when he seen her being drug out of the garage. That boy got nothing to do with me. 
we find her body, Jack. You confess on this tape, he won't have to be part of a trial. The state will use him up to get to you. I want him spared that. Now we get you anyway. Why put this boy through more? Maybe God wanted him to have seen what he's seen. This got nothing to do with God. Everything got to do with God. It's a gene this whole world's forgot. Was God with you on Friday night? You don't believe that? I don't see why he'd let that happen to one of his children. God ain't about asking why. You never ask why? Even if I did, think I'd hear an answer? No, I don't. I can save your life. I've spoke with the DA. He says we get a confession, they won't go for the chair. You said you wanted me dead. It's a trade I can live with. You live. And the boy spared all that. I want to turn this on now. Jack? I'm going to turn this on. I'm asking you to see how he is. Now, I'm tired of this. All I do is do for that boy. This boy ain't got a mama. <laughs> Who do you think has been his mama? I'm making his favorite supper. I'm going to fetch him when it's ready. You can't check on him real quick right now? Oh, mercy. Please, I, I'd like to hear how he is, and sometimes it's hard to know through a closed door. Fine. Call me right back. Hi. Hi. I understand that, but we do like to advise you to come back another day. I can't afford a baby. And I can't afford another round trip bus ticket. And you say you're not married? I'm not married. Is that the truth? to the camera. Is me killed her. You come down from Kingfisher? Killed who? I killed my wife, Ainsley. Did you know what you were doing? And why? Yes. I did. Watch your heel. Oh, God.
face. God tells a man to sacrifice his son. The man has faith, and he will do it. He doesn't ask why. At least Abraham, as he binds his son, knows why they're there. I don't anymore. I see him everywhere. Boy, I hardly knew. He doesn't become vague, like most memories, but clearer, a ghost in perpetual approach. It lingers in the faces of my children, grandchildren. You drop good. As she lingers in every woman I'll ever know. Staying out here alone. How'd you find this place? My mama brought me here the day my daddy died. She knelt right there. And she prayed. And her and him used to come here in high school for privacy. How old are you? Just turned 14. 14? You never get pulled over? Sometimes. You drive friendly. <laughs> yes, you do. won't be when you get older. I like cars an awful lot. Oklahoma City? Mechanic? Yeah. I was gonna open my own restaurant where all the old men could come for steak and potatoes. I was gonna marry one of them, have big, strong boys. Is that who you running from? Now is the oil man you marry? No. I said, where did she go? Mechanic I married. <laughs> so what are you? Gonna do now. Mm -hmm. I was hoping coming up here would help me figure that out. What are you staring at? Your eye. What about them? One of them keep moving off. Is it does? Right there, right there. Just did it. You want to see something? What you done? Don't be afraid. It's just a glass eye. Well, don't, don't get in there, man. It's just glass. It's not more real eye. Where's your real eye? Got cut out when I was a little girl. When my mama told me I was gonna get a new eye, I said, make it purple. <laughs> Cause that was my favorite color. 
I ain't purple. Of course not. <laughs> Lucky for that. Preacher says people with two different colored eyes is the devil. I didn't know that, Dad. You want to put it back in me? Wipe that smudge from your hand. No smudge. Yeah. Hold it soft. Slow yourself. Did it hurt? A little more than usual. You've done it real gentle. Did you come into my arms? Yes. Just children. That's all we are, Lord, if you're out there at all. We're children. Your children. Boys and girls. Forgive us. Which will you go for? Which will you love? Which will you choose from? From the stars above.
Which can it be?